Hi, I'm Christopher Rapuano, the Chief of the Cornea Service at Wills Eye Hospital in Philadelphia. I'm coming to you from the Wills Eye Alumni Society newsroom at Wills Eye Hospital. I want to talk for a little bit about an update on a new procedure being performed in the United States for the treatment of keratoconus. It is called corneal collagen crosslinking. It was actually developed in Europe about 15 years ago, became fairly widely used in some countries about 10 years ago, and then very widely used around the world about five years ago. We were involved at Wills, I and my partners, in the, some of the FDA studies for the FDA approval of collagen crosslinking, and fortunately, it has been FDA approved in the United States in 2016. Um, so we are now performing this at Wills Eye Hospital for our patients with keratoconus. Keratoconus is a condition where the cornea, which is the clear covering of the eye, becomes thin and protruded and affects the vision. Earlier keratoconus can be treated with soft lenses or hard lenses, but when keratoconus is progressing, we have a treatment that will actually halt the progression of keratoconus to prevent it from getting worse and worse, where people actually can no longer wear their contacts and may need to move on to a cornea transplant. That procedure is collagen crosslinking. There are a variety of techniques to perform collagen crosslinking. The standard technique involves uh, putting numbing drops in the eye, antibiotic drops in the eye, creating a large scratch on the cornea where the surface layer is removed, and then placing riboflavin drops in the cornea and on the cornea until it's absorbed. The standard Dresden protocol, which was the original um, uh, procedure that has the most follow-up and basically the best results around the world uh, for the longest period of time involves putting drops on the eye for 30 minutes and then checking the thickness of the cornea to make sure it's thick enough and then applying ultraviolet light, UV light, for another 30 minutes. Um, so it's a rather long procedure. It doesn't hurt because the eye is numbed and then after the procedure the riboflavin is washed out and a band-aid contact lens or bandage contact lens is placed on the cornea. Patients are then sent home, treated with antibiotic drops um, and then pain medications and ice packs because there is a big scratch on the cornea. It's rather uncomfortable for several days. The vision's also rather impaired or rather compromised for you know, several days to a week and then it's somewhat fuzzy for several weeks while the cornea heals. The published results of this variety, of what's called epithelium off, which creates the big scratch. So this variety of epithelium off crosslinking is very good. We're well over 90%, in many studies, over 95% of the time, the keratoconus stops progressing. There are other techniques which use less time for the riboflavin, less time for the ultraviolet light that are being developed and may become as effective um, with longer term follow up. There's also a technique called epithelium on crosslinking where the epithelium is not removed and special riboflavin is used that penetrates the epithelium better. And while that technique is promising, um, it doesn't have the same excellent long term results as the epithelium off technique. However, those patients don't have the same big scratch on the cornea, so it's less uncomfortable with fewer long-term side effects. So we are all hopeful that an effective epithelium on technique you know, will be developed over the next several years that um, is as effective as the epithelium off technique. I'm Christopher Rapuano, Chief of the Cornea Service at Wills Eye Hospital, coming to you from the Wills Eye Alumni Society newsroom in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thank you very much.